Hey guys, so I want to talk about grids and snapping to different uh, elements and some of the settings behind that that we can modify. Um, right now I've got two PDFs open. I've got a PDF with a raster image in it and then one with a vector. The one that we're looking at right now has a uh, raster image in it. And as you see, I've got grids turned on. So that's what these are right here, these little dots. And we'll go ahead and place something on here. They're um, at an inch. Um, separated from one another so if we go ahead and click on a line we can come in here and place one and it's going to bounce to uh, that first point and then we can bounce we can um, move it around and it's going to snap to the other uh, points around the uh, screen based off of where we're clicking um, to turn these on you'd actually come over here to the view tab and then down at the bottom you can say show grids and then you say snap to grid if you wanted it to snap um, we also have snap to content and snap to markup. Um, this is one location where you can change these settings. Another one is in your review tab and we'll look at that in a second. Um, if you uh, want to change the spacing uh, between these, you'd also have to get into the settings. So we'll look at that now by coming up here into the review menu. And if we click that and go into the preferences setting uh, <coughs> dialog box, we can then uh, go to the general tab and then over here to grid and snap, we can then start changing these options. So here we can change the units. Um, we can turn off show grid, uh, snap to grid, snap to content markup, which is gonna change what you see over here is um, being activated. So in your view tab under there, um, it'll be highlighted blue if it's activated. You can change it either there or over here and that's um, the two different ways. And then um, you, you know, here's your four show grid show uh, um, or snap to grid and then snap to content markup. If you turn content and markup off, it'll turn off the snap to lines and some of these other options um, because those aren't, um, if you can't snap to them, you don't, it essentially, it just hides the ability for you to snap to any of those things. And if you have them on, you can then drill down into items that you would want to snap over others. So if we just wanted to snap to line elements, we could then come in here and turn off all these different uh, options. I'll keep them on just so that I can demonstrate um, how we would snap to different things. And we can also change the sensitivity and color. Default, it's uh, set to black, but I changed it to red so that we can see the differences. Uh, that's kind of nice because in Revit, you don't necessarily get that option. So that's kind of cool if you needed to change it, you know, because you were having visual problems with the, the, the default color. Um, if we wanted to change the grid spacing, we would just type in, you know, whatever value we would want. So for this one, I'll just do a quarter inch and then press enter. And then now if we press OK, we can see that the uh, grid uh, updates to a quarter inch uh, spacing. And um, we'll go ahead and try to snap to some of this content. So what we'll do is come over here to the view uh, menu and make sure that we have snap to content on. I'm going to turn snap to grid off so we don't uh, snap to those on accident. And I'll also just turn off the grid. So with those turned off, um, I'll come in here and grab a line command and you can see it snaps to this content right here. So the markup that we've already placed um, and line is one of the things inside those um, uh, check boxes as well. So we can snap to this, we can get an endpoint snap, we can get uh, kind of this um, anywhere snap, uh, midpoint snap and then another endpoint. Um, so those are kind of nice if we wanted to draw it, you know, from a midpoint to maybe another midpoint. Uh, also, um, we can snap to content on the PDF. Um, this is where raster and vector kind of um, come into play. Um, there's a variety of uses for, you know, using a vector over a raster and, you know, the other way around as well. Um, but for the snaps, it doesn't necessarily snap to this content. So we can see that we can't snap to it. And just to make sure we, we can come over here and make sure snap to content's on, which it is. And we can see that we can't, you know, snap to anything on there. So that's where we would jump to um, to this PDF and kind of take a look at that. Um, just to verify my settings are set up correctly, we look at it over here. We can then come over here to the line command again. And then you can see now it snaps to these different elements. Um, what's also cool too is sometimes it, it recognizes the midpoints. Um, 
you can see it picks up the midpoints of these items and um, so you know it looks at those uh, vectorized PDFs and the elements inside there identifies the midpoints of the different things so if you needed to get a more accurate um, you know dimension or line or, or if you're drafting on there um, you know you have some functionality that will keep you kind of organized and uh, accurate so um, so that's really it um, we can see you know if we do this command from point to point, if we do midpoint to midpoint uh, by clicking and then holding it down so we let it go at the uh, next point, um, we'll do it again up here. Um, and we can see, we can do that. And then we can go into the midpoint of the markup. And that's kind of how it works. Um, there's not much to it, but it's. Uh, it's a nice um, tool to have and you know some of those settings are really nice because if you don't want to snap to certain things you know you have that ability also if you have you know because you can change it to where it doesn't snap to lines or some of the other different um, elements within a, a PDF um, it doesn't just apply to the markups that you're placing on there it does also apply to the um, vectorized uh, PDF as well so if we didn't want to snap to these lines we could come in here into the uh, review tab again to preferences back to the grid and snap uh, settings and then we can come down here and turn off uh, snap to lines it will still pick up the midpoints and endpoints but it won't you know pick up some of the um, random spots on the line so if we press OK um, and then try to draw again another line command we can see it doesn't necessarily snap to these um, at all until we get to a midpoint or we come into a uh, midpoint then it will snap to it because we still have that setting turn on um, this might be a better visual example we can see snaps at that midpoint come up here it snaps at the endpoint but it doesn't necessarily jump to these other areas that aren't um, uh, either an endpoint or midpoint and you may want to do that because you you know you only want to hit an endpoint or a midpoint. You know, go in there and turn those settings off. If you do just want to hit a midpoint of um, maybe the grids, you're trying to dimension something, whatever the case is, and you 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 don't you keep accidentally hitting something, um, you do have those options to turn those things off. And again, that's that's more or less to be more efficient when you're you're getting in there and dimensioning it. And if you identify that hey, you know, majority of the time I'm not um, dim, you know doing these weird. Uh, endpoint uh, dimensions or or endpoint um, you know when I'm drafting something up um, you can definitely get in there turn that up turn that off and then save those settings for future use um, so that's it I just wanted to show that hopefully it helps somebody out there that didn't know those options were there um, I appreciate you guys watching uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions uh, please like share you know comment uh, uh, subscribe if you want to see more thanks a lot